Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name's Janet. And today's video I have been wanting to do for so long. Then I finally pulled the trigger and bought the stuff to do it, or at least the first round. So we are going to tie dye. So if you want to see how this goes, then just keep watching. Okay, so this kit, this is what it looks like. It's just in this little tub. It's a 123 piece kit. So I got this off of Amazon and I will leave it, the link to this in the description box below. So I got that and then I just bought some Hanes t-shirts. And we're going to do these. So let's just get everything started. Okay, so I put down this. This is just the trash bag. It does come in this, whoa, this packet does have a like cloth, but I just thought I'd use this trash bag. Okay, so I've been watching Nicole Guerrero on IG. She's been tie-dye and everything, so <laughs> I kind of liked hers when she all she did was like scrunch it up. And then she rubber banded them. Okay, I just rewatched Nicole Guerrero's one of her tutorials and she wets the shirt or she wets the item. So we did that and now I'm going to do the whole crinkle method. I think is the one that I prefer. Let's see. There we go, that's better. Okay, so I think I prefer this crinkle method. So I wet the shirt, just scrunched it up together, and now we are going to try and rubber band this sucker. This is not as easy as I thought it would be just to put rubber bands on something. Oh my lordy. All right, I think this is as good as it's gonna get. It's the first time, we shall see. All right, let me mix up the color and I'll be right back. Okay guys, this is the one that I picked out that we're gonna do, I believe it's red. And it just says to fill with water till this line and then shake until dissolved. So let's see what happens. Okay, so here it is. I'm pretty sure it's, I don't think it's dissolved in the bottom yet. Oh crap, it is going everywhere. All right, I'm gonna do this in the sink and we'll be back. All right guys, it is all mixed up. So now it's all mixed up, it's the red. We've got our shirt that is wet. Let's see what we can do. And it is like leaking and spilling, so just be careful and mindful of that. I should have probably figured out how this red little lid comes off before 
I did all this. Okay, so I finally just pulled off and it's got some on the shirt. Is that better? That might be better. All right, let's just. Is it wrong that I'm like, I hope this does something and doesn't just turn into one blob red shirt? Oh Lord. And I just hope it doesn't turn into like a pink shirt. I'm not looking for a pink. I really wanted to do blue, but uh, there's only two blues in the pack. I mean, there's only two reds as well, but like since blue is my favorite color, I didn't want to try it on the first one in case this turns out horrible. You know? So, all right. <laughs> it looks horrible but this is what it looks like and now we're gonna put it in you're supposed to cover it with um, like plastic wrap I've got a plastic bag over here let me grab it and we're gonna put that in there okay so I just got this like it's a ziploc bag and we're just gonna stick it in this bag and let it chew for anywhere from, I think Nicole does like 30 minutes or not 30 minutes, sorry. She does 24 hours or like six to eight. So we're gonna do that. Um, if you can see, like I still have more than half the bottle left. And we pretty much covered the shirt, so. I mean, like, that's good. So, okay, I'm gonna seal this up. And we'll wait. Okay, guys. So, here it is. We're about to wash it and see what happened. Surely I should take the rubber bands off, right? Moment of trope. Where's the top of it? There's the top. Oh, that's the back. This is the front. I don't know that I'm feeling this. All right, I'm gonna 
wash it and then dry it and I'll show you guys what it looks like then. he used this is orange that was supposed to be pink and that's red so we'll see what happens then I did these two this green one is supposed to be like this one and then the black one is just the crinkle method so we're getting ready to wash these out and I'll show you what they look like when we get done so here's my sons that he did. It's like the bullseye. The one that I showed you that he did orange, pink, and red. So it has now been washed and dried. And this is what it looks like. So here is my green one after it has been in the washing machine and dried. It has a little bit of the spiral right in here, but it's fine. Uh, the camera is picking it up as like a darker green. It's more like a lime green though. Now we're just waiting on the black one. Okay guys, here's the black one. I like how this side is more black than this side. And I just did the crinkle one method with this one. Yeah, it's not as dark as it looks on camera. It's actually a lot lighter. If it was as dark as it looks on this camera, that would be awesome, but it's not. there is the green one and black one together. 